Jetty Park is located right in Port Canaveral, Florida. And if you've ever sailed out on a ship from this port, you may have seen a campground as you've exited the port. That's Jetty Park. And we decided we wanted to give it a try. So we drove down past the Holiday Inn, past the Carnival Port, way to the end of Port Canaveral itself, and came to the gate. Now, you can come here even for the day with a day pass, but you do need to buy all passes and camping reservations ahead of time on their website, which I will include in the description below. Since we had reservations, we made our way around the beautiful grounds and turned left into the campground. Now, if you go straight ahead, that's for the day pass holders, and there is a beach over there, which you will see later in this video. So we drove through and you do have a code to get through this gate. It's very secure. So we entered our code and then you just go straight ahead to the camp store to register. Camp store is straight ahead. Look at this view. I already spy a ship. Oh, and there's a dump station should you need one. Now it was time to go and find our campsite. We decided to get one that had sewer and water, but there are many different types of sites available at this campground. Okay, we're all checked in and we got all set up, camp set up here, and we're just relaxing, enjoying a little snack. And then we're gonna take a walk around the campground. A little windy today, but. Not bad. Not bad. Compared to the yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Jetty Park does have a few camper cabins also that are available if you're interested in that. And if you need, they also have a really nice bathhouse with hot showers. And there's even a fire ring if you'd like to have a fire. You can't have individual fires though by your camper. There's also a really nice laundry room. So if you're going swimming at the beach or going fishing and need to do a load of laundry, you can do that here at the campground. And there's really a nice picnic area inside the campground and outside in the day use area, which we'll see in a little bit as well. There's some shuffleboard if you wanna play shuffleboard and horseshoes. And of course, those great views of the ship Jetty Park has 358 total campsites, so they have a variety of different kinds. This one has both sewer and electric, 
which is similar to the one we have, and the numbers for the sights are on the electric pole. There's another little camper cabin. And as we walk back, you can see that this is an area for tents back here. And of course, there are no services back here, but these were really nice secluded sites. Tents only back here. What nice sites. There are a few different gates that you can use that you have to enter a code to get back in. And these will lead you outside the campground area and into the day use area. And across from our site, we noticed that there was a huge picnic area. Lots and lots of different shelters and what have you. And of course, volleyball. And a nice playground for kids as well. Look at these campsites right behind us. They're right on the water. No. As you can see here in Port Canaveral. Can you imagine camping here? This close. This close to a cruise ship. <laughs> How cool. They only have water down here and you can't have any pets down here by the water, but some really nice sites with really nice views. Did we mention the wildlife? There is so much to see down here by the port. And there's also a great area for kind of a boat launch. You can fish down here. So there's just so much to do. And now we're going to be going into the little building. It's kind of a bait shop with a cafe. And they also have an outdoor seating area as well. Fishing, fishing stuff here, it's a bait shop. It was cool to see that they had some solar power stations as well. This older building here is no longer used by the park at this time. I think they're remodeling it, but there are still places you can change if you wanna change into your swimsuit and go to the beach. down to the beach. With me. Ooh, it looks like some waves out there today. They've been having some pretty we wavy weather after the storm we had a couple of days ago. Don't make me wait. There's no need to hesitate. Let's make footprints. Let's make 
We've heard that the fishing is fantastic out here. So if you're a fisher person, this might be a great place to come. And can you imagine just watching the cruise ships leave and waving them off from here? Or maybe even a rocket launch. We were also really lucky to spot a submarine getting ready to take off. 
there is a base right across Port Canaveral, so you never know, you might see that when you come here as well. Well, we found a perfect spot in front of the campground right down here by the waterfront to sit. We've got brought our lawn chairs over here and we're gonna sit and watch some sailaways today. The first one I think is leaving right now, the Carnival Liberty. Elon Musk coming to work. <laughs> That's SpaceX over that way. And here comes the Carnival Freedom, the sister ship of the Liberty. of ships. Up today. Two now, went by. Two already went by. Now there's a third one coming. We're trying to figure out which one this is. Yeah.
Okay, Ron thinks this one is Elon Musk arriving for work. It's hard to tell. Nice boat though. the slowest moving ship in America, the Disney Wish. I'm only saying that because we're freezing to death from the wind. It's so pretty with the sunset over there. Terminal 3. This is the Disney Wish, the newest ship so far, and the largest in the Disney fleet. it's because one of my hands is waving at the people. There's the Disney Wish. Pretty ship. Yeah, it is. Not much of a sail away party though. You know, I'm seeing a lot of glass. Yeah. They don't really have any railings to look out at. Very few. But I suppose that's safer with little children. Yeah. <laughs> and there she goes. Thanks for watching our video about Jetty Park and Campground. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to our channel because it really helps us out. Thanks so much, take care, and God bless.